UAB researchers find the first ever genetic link between obesity and colon cancer risk. The study was published in the Journal of the American Medical Association. The research focuses on a gene called adipoke that results in the formation of a fat hormone called adiponectin. The, the key link is really the fact that fat cells are the major producer of adiponectin, that adiponectin correlate with obesity, with diabetes, and it has been, it's, it's a recently discovered uh, molecule, barely uh, five, six years ago. So it, it came late in the genome discovery, and now it's catching a lot of attention and uh, is clearly linked with, uh, with obesity and now for the first time with cancer. In two separate studies, researchers collected DNA samples from 800 people with colorectal cancer and 600 without cancer. The group with a variation of the adiponectin gene were 30 percent less likely to develop colorectal cancer. Those without the gene variant or who had unhealthy blood levels of adiponectin may be at a higher risk and may benefit from early screening. Whether this uh, will pan out ultimately will depend on the validation of these results in other studies uh, by other groups and uh, this may ultimately lead to the identification of a blood test that would help to identify who is at risk of developing colorectal cancer based on these adiponectin gene variants. An unexplained pain in his side led Billy Engel to have a colonoscopy four years ago. He was 32. I had colon surgery to remove about, I think it was about 18 centimeters of my colon. Uh, there was a large tumor there, and uh, I had, the cancer had spread to my liver by the time I, they found it. Currently, a colonoscopy is the most effective test for colorectal cancer, but it is not recommended to the general public until age 50. Colon cancer, in contrast to many other cancers, can be diagnosed at an early stage, and not only diagnosed, but effectively treated at an early stage through colonoscopy. By the age of 50, some patients have already developed colorectal cancer and thereby were not offered screening that may have helped them. And we know also that maybe screening by the age of 50, even though it's a good thing to do, uh, screens a lot of patients that may not need screening uh, at that age. I would have never known if it wasn't for that pain, but if there was some kind of way to test just some kind of predictor, yeah, that would be awesome.